Do you know what today is? It is World Toilet Day. November 19th is a day recognized by the United Nations as World Toilet Day to educate and bring awareness to the fact that there are millions and millions of human beings in this world that do not have access to proper sanitation. And in honor of that, I want to share a couple things about toilets with you. One will be six hacks on how to make your toilet work better and look better. So make sure that you subscribe. The other thing is I want to talk about toilets is my book. Many of you might know that I have published a book several years ago and it's called Flush the Fear. It is a DIY guide to flushing fear, anxiety, and negative crap from your life. It is a self-help, self-improvement book that uses toilets and tools as a metaphor for helping you get past the things that have you stuck and let you live your best life. Now, the book is available on Amazon, but starting today, the ebook version is available and it is on sale between now and the end of November for $2.99 and any proceeds that come in during this time, I will donate to the World Toilet Fund to help bring sanitation to the rest of the world. So go over to Amazon, type in Flush the Fear, and you can check that out. But I want to share with you these hacks. Now, literally, I love toilets. I think they are funny. I love all the different kinds and styles and colors and varieties. When I go on vacation, I'm always looking at different kinds of toilets and I take photos from this medieval toilet that I found in a castle to the dreaded Turkish toilet, which is nothing more than the porcelain slab on the floor. Let's talk about how you can make your toilet work better for you. The first stop is the dreaded clog. So if you have that toilet that is clogged, don't panic. Don't call the plumber right away. I want you to grab some Dawn, some good old Dawn dish soap. And I want you to pour about three quarters of a cup to a cup into the bottom of your bowl and let it sit for an hour. Oftentimes that is just enough uh, surfactant and grease breaker that will work its way into the gooseneck of the toilet down into the clog and break things up. So that is a great inexpensive way to get your toilet working better. While you've left that uh, dawn sit in the toilet for a while, you're going to want to be able to plunge afterwards and help move things along. Now make sure you have a good plunger. But sometimes, we've all seen this, that when you go to plunge a dirty, filled, nasty bowl, it splashes out. And now you've got poo water coming all over and making a mess. So here's a hack where you take a trash bag, open it up, cut a hole in it, and wrap it over the bowl so that the handle of the plunger sticks up and the splash is kept to a minimum and you toss the bag out. The third toilet clog hack involves some boiled water. Boil some water, let it cool just a minute or two, and then you can pour the boiling water into the toilet bowl, and that will help, in addition to the Dawn, break things up and move things along. So inexpensive, easy fixes. Now the next thing up on that toilet list is mind-blowing. It's a toilet bomb. You can DIY toilet bombs, or you can buy them online. But it is a baking soda base and it will help disinfect, deodorize, simple, easy. You don't need to call a pro for that. Now there are times when you find that your toilet just doesn't have enough oomph. That when you flush, you don't feel like the bowl is getting really clean and you know what I'm talking about. So on the underside of your rim of your toilet bowl are holes. There's a, a whole row of holes that moves the water from the tank to the bowl. Over time, mineral deposits, slime, um, just mildew and things can build up and the water doesn't move through the holes with the same force. So what I want you to do is get CLR, calcium lime and rust remover, and a stiff nylon brush. Toothbrush is too soft, so you want a thicker, heavier brush, but not a wire one because you'll scratch the porcelain. You're going to take the CLR and that nylon brush and get up under there and really scrub. All kinds of nasty stuff is going to come sliding down. Be prepared. But this will open up those holes so that you get a better flush and a cleaner bowl every time. And my last toilet hack is absolutely my favorite. There are many of us that have ring around the potty. 
And that is you have that ring inside the toilet bowl at the line where the water sits. The problem is not that you don't clean because you can scrub and disinfect as much as you want. But if you have really hard water, you will get mineral scale buildup. That's what that line is. That's what the ring is right in here. So what I want you to do is don't grab that pumice stone. Tons of people out there recommend the pumice stone. The problem with the pumice stone is that you will scratch the porcelain. And I've seen people do this. So instead of the pumice stone, I want you to grab an emery board, a basic old nail file. Okay, not a metal one, just these paper ones. They're super cheap, easy to find. Take an emery board, cut it in half because you only need a little piece. Use the soft side, the lighter colored side, and you get in there and you just gently scrub away all of that mineral buildup. You'll feel the crust just disappearing. It is so easy, it is so fast. When you're done, you just throw that piece of nail file away. And the other thing is you can also use it in your sink. If you find you've got mineral scale buildup and crust in the bottom of your sink or on the sink deck. So this is a super easy way to get ring around the potty and get a beautiful, fresh, clean bowl. So make sure that you guys subscribe. We've got lots more stuff coming. I'm going to share some home safety tips because my son, uh, lives in a neighborhood in Philadelphia that just had some uh, home invasions and I have reinforced his apartment for he and his roommates and I'm going to share those tips with you as well. So make sure you subscribe. We'd love to have you stick around and please sign up for my newsletter because I'm going to be launching some new classes that are short to the point and super on target for making you a smarter, more capable, more confident homeowner.